Why, hello, you fantastic people. Congratulations, your Monday is over. The rest of the week is just all downhill from here in a good way. You don't hear that. It's all downhill from here. It sounds bad, but it's better than it's all uphill from here, right? Is that making sense? I don't know. It's the end of my Monday, too. You with your boy Cam from the beautiful Vancouver, Canada. How the hell are y'all doing? You fine people. We are live in your home, on your phone, on your tablet, and your TV. Sharing the joins of the games with you as we do every two nights. Here across multiple platforms, a shout out to Elizabeth, Painkiller, see you in the pregame there, and Stephanie as well, and hello to all of our lurkers across all of our platforms that we are live on tonight, which would be Rumble, Twitch, Kick, DLive, and YouTube. So thankful that you're sharing some time with us here on episode three of our Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster playthrough. I've said it before, guys, this is the first time I've played this game in over 20 plus years, and I'm loving every flippin' second of it. Ah. <sighs> It just, it brings the nostalgia. The nostalgia every time just comes and just smacks me in the face. And uh, I can't help but humming along with the music. I'm, I'm just, some of y'all even have some, some good little uh, shout outs and callbacks. It's a fantastic game. So, all right, enough of me chattering. We have to go find our Esper. End of last episode, Tara, or I do like to name the characters after people in my chat. So Stephanie... Turned into an Esper herself, or what we think was an Esper, and she flew off. We don't know where. We gotta go find her. We gotta find out what is going on in the world. So, thanks again for spending some time with us. Cheers to all of you, my friends. Let's get some music going, shall we? During the last episode, we learned that Kefka, Kefka legit does not give a flying fornication. He literally completed a mass murder, a whole kingdom, poisoned the river, killed them all. Men, women, children. That's where we gained Cyan, okay, the Knight Cyan, and we also found a orphaned, uh, like, rough, how do I even describe Gao? His dad, his, so his mom died in childbirth, and the dad was crazy, thought it was his fault, threw the baby out into the, the world, and he was, like, raised by animals, so now he's this really, he's only, like, 13 years old, but he's, like, this rough and tumble kid, right? Uh, we gained... Celes, who used to be a Magitek general, but she was basically betrayed, and so she, now she's on our team, right? So we gained all that, and now we have to find out where the hell our Esper went. And so I was able to choose a party, and the party I chose, Edgar, Sabin, Cyan, Celes, who I have affectionately named after people who have been in the chat so far. As we get new characters, if you guys are in the chat, then I just might put you in the game too. So we have Lou, myself as my favorite character, and then Elizabeth is here. And Tara, of course, well, Stephanie is the one who's missing. So I think we've uh, upgraded our weapons. I think I wasted a lot of money. How much money we got? Yeah, we're okay. You still saw your friend passing away? Is this another friend, Elizabeth? You were just talking last couple streams about another person who passed away recently. Did, did someone else pass away? And did I miss that in the Discord? No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. I remember you. Okay, this was the private message you sent me about the other streamer. Yes, okay, thank you. My apologies. I, I know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, man. The whole death thing scares the shit out of me. It does. I just like being. You know? I like being. <laughs> And the thought of me not being anymore uh, terrifies me. So, yeah. It's part of the reason why I stream and do what I do is that, I mean, at some point... Hey, King Louie, welcome home. Some point, if, you know, my kid... When I pass and my kids are... no long, Like, I'm no longer here. If they want to spend time with me, here I am. I'll always kind of be here, and I can kind of share um, games with them, even when I'm gone. Ah, this is just like old times. I'm going to wander around for a bit. Yeah, last time we were here in Figaro, Kefka tried to, like, take it over, and Edward's like, nope, dropped into the sand. Welcome home, King Louis. That's Lewis, sorry. That's how our friend in the stream pronounced it. So please take your time, relax to the castle. 
It's my castle, bitch. That's what I do. Oh, there we go. I'm back on my throne. <laughs> Thunderstorms lay the water parts today? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to be around water when the thunder starts clapping. A little bit of lightning could cause a problem. Did your mom already go on her next cruise there, Elizabeth? Oh, I can't take money from the king. You have a family, don't you? Just be quiet and take it. <laughs> I think we have all the... Ooh, the drill. Yes. Nice. And we have the flash, too. That's good. Uh, someone fighting yelling yesterday, man? People are just getting rowdy. I take care. can't take money from the king. You have a family, don't you? Shut up and take it. Uh, ba -ba I found out that I need a lot more. So I we're we're not quite there yet, so <sighs> Although I need the money, but we need the items too, because what we learned during the end of last stream is like I barely got by, man. Barely. Scholars all over the world are busy studying magic. We can only learn so much about something without seeing it. We talked to these guys already. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll talk to the guy in the engine room in a minute. But first. So you're going to be back June 8th? Okay, gotcha. Oh, I don't want to do that. Wait, yes? Yes, I do? Yes, I do. Yes, I damn it, right. Yes, I do. I know what I'm doing here. Sure, let's do a quick rest. There we are. Hmm. Castle hasn't changed much. And yet it's different. Mom and Dad are gone. Nothing can ever really be the same. Not after what happened. Tonight, it's the worst he's been. So, if he should. No, you're wrong. It's not true. Priestess, the king, he's. Cam. Dad couldn't have. So, Dad didn't make it. Lou, there you are. Your father just said he would entrust Figaro to the two of you. Those were his final words. You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had Dad poisoned. And the only thing you can think about is who'll be the next king. No one's even sad. None of you probably cared when Mom died after we were born, either. That's not... You're just as bad as the rest of them. Empire murderers. They won't get away with this. Priestess, leave us. Let's leave this place. Let's forget this crazy kingdom. Live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom. <laughs> what do you think would happen to Figaro if both of us left? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Let's settle this with a toss of a coin. Dad gave me this one. Heads, you win. Tails, I win. The winner chooses whichever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings. Okay? Here we go.
And you chose your freedom. It's already been 10 years. That little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. Yeah, you're a king crab. <laughs> Cam, do you think Dad would be proud of me? Don't you ever doubt that. I'm sure he's beaming with pride wherever he is. Ten years. Where has the time gone? Here's to a couple confused grown-ups. <laughs> Drink. Just pull it out. Here's to Dad. Come on. And to Figaro. Isn't that how a lot of us go through life? Just... <sighs> a lot of confused grown-ups, huh? We think we know what we're supposed to do until we don't. How scary is it as well that we were just kind of having this conversation just before we walked into the castle here, just about passing away and, and the death conversation. And the story of the game covers this very topic. Holy shit, guys. Oof. Like, that's some that's some timing right there. I don't I don't know what to say. <laughs> Lots of orders to submerge this month. I can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you'd like. Let's go. Here we go. Here we are, Kalingan. Have a safe trip. Oh, hold on, one sec here. There we go. Hello, Angelina. Good evening. How are ya? We just got started a short bit ago. How much money we got? Not much. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna have to do a quick little uh, money grind here. Not a back attack! A rock wasp? How was your weekend, Dan Selena? How was your Monday and your weekend? Glad to hear you're doing well. Glad you're here. It's a good weekend, Angelina. The start of another week. Wow, 600 gil. That's actually pretty good. I might even have to. Hmm. Hold on. I was supposed to go north. Haha, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Rock wasp. Iron fist. Let's poison these guys, man. Oh, wow. Iron Fist like that shit? Ooh, that's not good. Let's try our new drill, shall we? Not much change to that animation, but it still looks okay. <sighs> yeah, it's tough when stuff like that happens, Elizabeth, for sure. <sighs> A mithril knife. Can we use that? I don't think there's anyone who wants to use that, actually. So we'll just leave it.
a blood fang and a vulture. Man, these things. Man, that that thing's actually really good. Oh no, he's gonna miss the suplex. Oh, we got it. No, it misses though, right? Yeah, it missed. It's a flying animal, so. Ba, 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 ba. There it is. I can't believe I almost missed the spot. <laughs> Angelie, I can't remember if I've ever asked you, have you played any of the Final Fantasy games at all before? Or have you played at least Final Fantasy VI before? A strange glowing uh, creature flew right through here. Scared the living daylights out of me. Took off southwards towards Jadur. I saw a pretty light. It came here and everyone else was afraid of it, but I liked it. Was that thing really a monster? It stopped right in front of my little girl. I could see it had gentle eyes. What's with the weird music, bro? That? Oh, that's Christians. Dear me, I almost spilled the beans. <laughs> Are we through here? Finished? All done? <laughs> I forgot. There's a reason why I actually normally would take Christian on this trip. I'm almost... Um, I'm almost tempted to go back and actually switch it up and get him. It's my dream to see an opera at the Opera House south of Jadur, with a handsome date, of course. I'd get all dolled up, put on a sequin dress. It's also your Aunt Winnie's birthday? Oh, gotcha. Okay, we don't need items, actually. We bought that before, but they're all in one spot here. Yo, these guys, like, this is some good stuff in here. But I don't got the money yet. Welcome. Oh, yeah, we got some really good shit here. Chain flail. Uh, Lead. Okay. Are you a friend of Christian's? He always visits Rachel's house when he's in town. A girl named Rachel used to live in that house up here. No one lives there anymore, though. Oh, I've got an elixir, though. That's awesome. I thought it's... Oh, it's not there. It's here. There we go. A green beret. Ha ha. We already got a green beret. So her defense is 124 and 17. Ooh, that evasion is nice, though. Evasion 14. Ooh. Best stay away from that house on the eastern edge of town. Crazy old coot sits in there mashing up herbs all day for his shady concoctions. I even heard he's got a ghost in the basement. Well, we did see a body. That thing. I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. It looked like some kind of glowing monster. My younger brother's a bit uh, eccentric. Lives alone up north. Says he's going to build a coliseum or some such nonsense. Okay, we talked to them. Hey. I forgot. We can actually... We meet again. Leave me alone. I wouldn't talk to that guy if I were you. He's an assassin. Trust, bro. We know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, he, he got a, a win yesterday. That's good, Elizabeth. So at least that, that kind of helps a little bit. All right. I apologize, friends, but I do... I am going to do it. Duck Race? Is that like one of the games that... That's what some of the games are called, Elizabeth? Elizabeth? 
See, this is what happens when you don't play the game in over 20 years. You kind of forget how to set things up. Like, I had played this game so much, like, I knew what was coming up, so I would kind of pre-prep for it and everything. So I'm really rusty. <laughs> That's alright, it won't take us long, guys. It won't take us long at all. Whoops, except for when I do shit like that. <laughs> Besides, the music's awesome anyway, so we can enjoy that. Oh, except for when they want to fight me. Flash! And we'll use some ice, too. Usually, desert things don't like ice. One shot. Ba -ba. And we got that level up. Sweet! Some shells have a duck race. You get something? Oh, that's cool. Hopefully someday I might be big enough where I can actually do, like, legit giveaways and stuff. That'd be really cool. Oh, no. A leaf bunny attack. It's like he's... It's a bunny riding on a head of lettuce is what that is to me. It's like, you're not scary. I want to pet you and give you, like, little carrots to eat. Like, you don't intimidate me. <laughs> you know? I'm not scared of you. I'll have to watch Scratchy here. People hunt coins. Yeah. Gotcha. This way, I think so, yeah. All right, we're going to remove all. Yes. All right, so we're going to have... Bop. 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 There we go. Nice. I forgot where we picked up a thief's knife. But I will take it. Alright, let's get out of here. For real this time. Guy bought four rolls of half dollars. The most social sign will special points. Nice. Hopefully, like, those wins will allow you to kind of trade those things in for some good cash or become really good collectible uh, things. That'd be pretty cool. Just blasting through these guys. You can do a stream on that? That'll be fun, Elizabeth. That'll be fun. Alright, here we go. actually check my brightness here real quick guys I'm looking at the desert on my uh, preview it's looking a little tad bright hold on there we go all right let's go Got one of the bills you bought for coin is a rare bill? Oh nice! Oh fuck, I did it again! <laughs> I did this the same <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Oh what? Oh, I didn't even have to do that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hey, Dark Lord, good to see you, man. How you doing? Welcome. Oh, Christian, it's been a while. Ages, even. Oh, that? <laughs> worry not, worry not. Your treasure is quite safe. <laughs> it's a good thing I happened to perfect my herbal concoction right when she... Uh, the girl hasn't aged today, and never will. <laughs> I had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Rachel. You sure the stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this forever. And ever and ever. <laughs> if there are a way to call her spirit back. A way to call her back, eh? You mean that legendary treasure? 
<laughs> oh, yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to reawaken her. <laughs> this guy's crazy. I, I failed her. So, a little bit of history there. You notice how Christian's character, to every female he's seen, I'll protect you? Why do you think that is? Because he failed, so it's like, oh, he's got to redeem himself. Well, now we can see why. Big loss right there for him. And so, he even... Um, he was willing to do whatever he could to try and keep her in state where she wouldn't decay. And so I guess that old crazy gentleman actually had a legit thing that's kind of keeping her laid in state without decaying. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on there. Hey, it's okay, Dark Lord. I'm just glad you popped in to stay high, man. It's always great to see you. Always great to see you. How was your weekend, man? What'd you get up to? One of your oldest coins is 1791? That's impressive. Dang. Ba, ba, ba. Just to make sure we have enough money, because I just want to make sure we keep the story going here. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that unless I have to. Well, let's see how we do as we make our way down. But yeah, a coin from that long? Well, that's crazy, Elizabeth. Oof. Vulture and an iron fist. Right through, man. That drill is hella long. Like, what are you drilling for? Oil? Why is your drill that long, dude? Sheesh. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's get one more fight, yeah, before we go into town. Not the rock wasps. Alright, we'll just kind of almost one shot them here. Ah, here we go. Now if they want to mess around, we still got this. Da 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 da. Got a gold needle. Very nice. Needles of gold, I like. Jadur. This is Jadur, the westernmost town on the world map. Got a geology guy here. Geography, not geology. That's the study of the earth. Ge geography is the, the map. Got it. Chocobo! <laughs> so cute! Okay. Now. We wouldn't want to be around Chocobos? Aww. Yo, everything costs so much money, though. Shit. Okay, how much is the weapons? Kikuchi Monji. Okay, we don't have one of those. Kaiser Knuckles. Fuck yes. A Kodachi. No one can use that. A Moonring Blade. Sure. You know what I think? I generally don't do this. I'm going to get rid of my Genji Glove here because Sabbath already has his own strong stuff, but Locke doesn't. I'm going to take the Mithril Glove. And I'm going to give it to our boy here. There we go. Now, I don't have a shield for my boy here. I can do something about that. Oh, the Hornets! Absolutely! Those are terrifying, aren't they? They're gross. <laughs> Hell nah. Not get rid of that. We got three great swords, but they're not great enough to keep, so we gotta sell some stuff here. Oh, 
ba, ba, ba. Yo, I don't want to give that up just yet. No, I'm not giving that up. Okay. All right, so now we got ourselves some money here. So now let's let's buy. Okay, turns out we should have actually bought some stuff further up for um for uh, Elizabeth there. Shit. So this is what happens when I. F oh. But wait, 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 wait. There's one further cell. <gasps> we could do that. Hold up. Wait a minute. Why? Like I said, guys. <laughs> Those folks at Zozo don't have an ounce of honesty among the lot of them. Don't trust a word they say. Zozo? I think there's a, a town to the south past the Opera House. I think we can also, uh, instead of going all the way back up north for the weapons we missed, you check that out. It's a relic store. The class divide is starkly apparent here. All the middle-class families live in the southern part of town. The richer folk live up in the north. You can see one of their enormous mansions from here. I'm going to be an opera singer when I grow up. Huh? You don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here. Yeah. I think we're kind of good right now. There's only some relics that are worth buying, but the good ones actually are, are you find them. I saw a girl bathed in light speed off towards the northern mountains. This is the Jadur Auction House. It's always full of wealthy aristocrats. Today's auction is over. It's funny because the auction house here was actually not using it until Final Fantasy IX. Oh, there's nothing I can't buy. Oh, are you an admirer of fine art as well? No? How utterly uncivilized. I want one of those legendary treasures that bring back departed souls. None of the other rich folks have one yet. I heard you can get one in the Imperial Capital of Fector. Some truly valuable works of art can be acquired at this auction house. Probably not by the likes of you, though. Bitch! Daddy, let's buy lots of stuff today, too! Oh, how can I say no to those adorable little eyes? Oh, <laughs> First time I've been here. Doesn't look the kind of place a down and out bum like me belongs. You're obviously not from around here. Straighten your back. Don't slump so much. There's more slump in my biceps than your whole body, bro. Stop it. <laughs> we'll, come, we'll, we'll be coming back there at some point, friends. Don't worry. Every once in a while, one of those shady kids from Zozo wanders down here looking for an easy mark. Be careful. Okay, I don't need items. We're good. Okay. This mansion. Jadur, Owser's mansion. You're the spitting Im image of Maria. Huh? Haven't heard of her, you say? She's a famous opera singer. Elizabeth is? Wow. I That's cool. So he has a picture of a treasure chest, a pot, Ultros! This one looks awfully familiar. A picture of a lovely lady, a suit of armor, it would seem. A very old painting, it's a bucket. It appears to be a lamp. Beautiful still life of flowers, almost as if they were alive. A treasure chest on canvas. Picture of an old urn. I guess art quality is also in the eyes of the beholder. Alright. Let's pop... Actually, hold on. Should we... I don't... You know what? I'm going to save my money. Let's go south. There should be a town down there, because that way I think there's other stuff to get. So, save this. Luna, you were changing. She took your pants... She took your pants to bed. <laughs> You're glad to put the. <laughs> well, it's a good thing uh, you're home with no one else to kind of see. <laughs> oh, the opera house is the southernmost tip. Fuck. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna have to go north. That's fine. These guys can't hurt us right now. Okay. Once again, I haven't played in over 20 years, so I actually thought there was another town down here. Actually, I was correct in... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. The Opera House is closed. Ah. Well, Opera House, I'm so sorry. Actually, I want to use... It sucks that his Bio Blaster actually doesn't have, like, the purple infused with it. With uh, Stephanie's character at the very beginning of the game, there was, actually. Yo, I... What? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we have a thief knife! That's why. Ah, cool. Um, but yeah, Stephanie's character, her Bio Blast, actually she had, like, a purple... Hazing with the toxic green. It looked really cool. Freshly squeezed lemonade. It'll be time to freshly squeeze some more pretty soon. So we are heading back up to Kalingan because there were some weapons and stuff there that I needed. I, I thought I could buy in Jadur. That didn't happen. That happened. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't happen. So that's all right. Through this, we're getting XP, which is good, and we are getting. MP, or, uh, gold. Gil. G it, it, the original game is GP. XP and GP. Um, this, in this game as well as Final Fantasy IV, I really felt that fighting, the XP you got and the gold you got really meant something. So I felt like when I fight these battles, yes, they are redundant at times. Thank goodness there's good music. Right? The gameplay is, is the menus are easy to pick up and get through. So it's, it's, not a slog, but a lot of the time, I'm getting good amounts of experience to level up at a decent pace. And it allows me to level up to where I should be fast. And if I'm over-leveled, then it makes sense why I'm not getting as much experience. It means, okay, I must be in a good spot. It's very easy to pick up that, okay, you know what? I think I'm in a good spot here where I can push on to the next area without getting slaughtered. Right? So it really felt like it was worth it to do these fights. And Final Fantasy IV did this well, as well. Whereas Final Fantasy V, as you guys know, my experience with Final Fantasy V, where the experience and all that's like, well, how does this really help? It was more about the job, XP, which it took forever to fucking unlock. And then even then, if I didn't have the right jobs, I would get wrecked by random enemies and bosses where I wouldn't have an idea of, like, why I got wrecked. It's just because I chose the wrong job, bro, sorry. <laughs> Go back and grind for three hours. You know, this way I can grind as we play through the game. It doesn't feel like a chore. And Final Fantasy 4 and, and 6 have done that so very well. Oops, my bad. That lemonade sounds really good, Elizabeth, by the way. Nami noms. All right, let's buy the shit that get that does the stuff. Ah, yes, I did stop by your house. Now weapons. So Aaron and I, we don't need it. Chain flail, yes, that's what we want for our girl. There we go. Actually, the chain flail, if I remember correctly, I think it's called a morning star in, in Final Fantasy III. Uh, I. Where is it? It should be here. Is it because it's equipped? It is, I think. So, uh, my understanding is like before, 
So let's go to the items now. Uh, Flash, no. Where the f there it is, shape flat. A spike steel ball carried by a chain to the handle. I think it has the same, um, at least in the original game, it had the same attack power from the back row. Right? I don't know if that's going to be the same here, but we'll go with it. Now, with armor, we're going to pick up. Actually, let's double check the armor first. Mithril shield. A bandana. So it's just the shield that helps here. So let's grab four of these bad boys right now. That was a waste of money for, to get it for Christian. <laughs> That's alright. We'll, we'll hold on. Uh, hold on. I can't talk right, man. It was a long, it's a long day today. <laughs> it was a long day. What can I say? Do a quick little save. All right. One thirty-nine. So everyone's hitting around one twenties right now. Uh, Kristen's doing what? Okay, so I have the highest attack right now for around one ninety. We got a Lou at one sixty, and then Christian and. Uh, Elizabeth are at 120s right now. Bye. Hey, learned imp. Nice. Uh, I drops. There we go. All right. So there has been a sighting of our friend. In the mountains north. Of. Jadur. Oh shit. Christian hit for the 140s now. Ooh. Elizabeth with the 170. Okay. Maybe I. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hit mithril nights for days. We'll sell these for. There we go. Now the downside of giving Elizabeth a flail is that she doesn't have a sword, so she can't use her runic ability, but quite frankly, these guys aren't really strong with magic, so I'm not really stressed about it. There we go, nice little level up. Love to see it. Okay, now it is time for. I need to get some tents. So I don't think I have that much. Now that I have money. Let's get some of that because we're probably going to need them. So we have five, six, eight, six tents. We're all right. Let's just. Uh, I think we're good on Phoenix Downs now. Uh, uh, five ethers, just in case. As much as I want to get 10, we're not balling that hard yet, so. All right, let's do a little sleepy sleep, and up we go. Actually, how's her magic doing? Yeah, okay. I don't want to use the ether before we get to where we're going. Yeah. So, the people have told us, yes, they saw this screaming light in the sky go north. And that is where a town called Zozo is, and we've already been told by some of the townspeople here what to worry about with Zozo. Oh, hold on, though. Before I do, I actually need to buy stuff I haven't got yet. Jeez. Okay, Mithril Vest. Aha! Ninja gear. Hold oh, there we go. Defense 47-35-5. 47-35-5. White dress for Elizabeth. Get the woman a white dress. She ain't getting married, but she's a white dress. Dang it. Uh, Ninja gear is 47, 32, and 2. Ninja gear for our boy. And then we need uh, one of these. 
Nice. We got some nice stuff here. I don't think anything else here, really. For him. Now, for our boy here, Ninja Gear, absolutely. Yeah, that defense is going up nice. Love to see it. Oh, yeah. Look at all the green. I love it. Tyree? Good to see you. Is it... It's... It's... Tivy Ty, right? Tivy. TVY. Tivy, right? Good to see you. How you doing? Hope your weekend went awesome and that you had an even better Monday. So, we got two agility increase. We got five magic, which is good since she's, a, she's got magic. Defense is pretty good, and magic defense, nice. That's a that's a win right there. So Eerie increases her magic. We got Peace Ring. I don't care about that. I do want her defense to go up. That could be nice. Prevents Berserk and Confusion. I don't think there's anyone using that. So I think let's go with um, Mythical Glove. Let's make her a little bit stronger. All right? Tibby. Yes. Okay, perfect. I thought I got it right, but I always like to ask. When it comes to saying, saying people's... Uh, uh, handles. So, that's good. Thank you for confirming to me. Uh, welcome. Now. No upgrade here. Okay, yeah, we already got this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We are set. Pretty swell. Yes, you know what? I apologize to all of my American friends. Happy Memorial Day. It's a long weekend for y'all, isn't it? Stephanie, how come you didn't call me out on that? Should have called me out on that. <laughs> I usually... I'm not super educated on the world's holidays, but I usually know when uh, my American friends have one. And I remember hearing about that on the radio this morning. I listened to the like news radio on the way and just trying to know what's going on. And they mentioned, oh yeah, the stocks are closed because of Memorial in the U.S. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll have to say something about that. Totally didn't. <laughs> so to any of my American friends, how did you spend your long weekend? No, I'm in Vancouver, Canada. About three hours from Seattle, give or take. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, we stole a gold eagle. Nice. Thought we talked about last stream after which you have Victoria Day. You, you know what? You may have brought it up at that point. That's possible, Stephanie. I should have been able to... I, I think we, we may have brought it up. But I still should have addressed it at the beginning. So my apologies. And once again, happy Memorial Day weekend to all of my American friends. And how is Todoroki doing? How was your weekend and your Monday, Todoroki? It's good to see ya. Good to see ya. Exactly, yes. It, it, we're basically right upstairs from Washington State. A lot of us will cross the border just to go, like, get fast food that's not in Canada. Like, we don't have Jack in the Box up here. So we would pop down to the States for, like, 20 minutes to hit Blaine, Washington, grab us some Jack in the Box, and go back up the, the border crossing guards, like, watch go to the States. And we hold up our fast food, Jack in the Box, and, like, are you serious? We're like, yeah, man, check the shop. We got nothing in there. We do any shopping. <laughs> It was hilarious. In fact, U.S. Border Patrol is even more, like, concerned about us. They're like, why are you coming to the States? Oh, we're just going to be down for, like, half an hour. What? Yeah, we're just going to Jack in the Box. And you wouldn't believe how many times they actually made us pull over to check our shit. Because they're like, these guys must be stoners, man. If they're coming here for food, they must be stoners. <laughs> like, they figured that was what was up. And, of course, we never smoked at all. Oh, it was just funny. <laughs> Rika was good. They went to a new arcade place. Ooh, nice. Did they have a lot of games that you liked? All right. Welcome to Zozo. Ba -da -ba -da. Zozo? Never heard of it. That's literally the name of the town. Holy shiza. Uh, hello, nice to see you guys. That guy is freaking... I forgot how big that dude is. 
Damn. I have... I'm feeling intimidated right now. That's alright. We suplex the train. We can suplex him. Well, not that guy. Dude, he's got like a robe and a diaper. This guy's all buffed up. He's wearing a diaper. <laughs> it's all good, though. We got this. This glove, yo, that's... I think that's actually pretty handy. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, big guy, right? So, just bring some good games there. It's like a mix between old games and new ones. That's awesome. I actually... Um, Reese was invited to a birthday party earlier this year. And there was an arcade in, in a close by I wasn't even aware of. So, this got to go in... And just unlimited games, everyone got to play. It was fantastic. I grew up in the arcade era. Like, I would run away from school just to go sit in the arcades. As, like, a grade one. And, uh... Ooh, got a lot of, lot of, a lot of L's there. A lot of levels up. <laughs> I like how they upgraded the drums on this. It really hits with this track. They're almost like 808s. Cost ten dollars to get in. Yeah, see, that's a great deal. I think the way some of our kids are doing it now is they bring you in, right? And it's like 10, 15 bucks, just play whatever you want as much as you want. And then you buy food and you can buy other stuff, right? And that's where they kind of make their money. Uh, birthday parties, events, right? Um, I know the one up here, they'll do uh, grown-ups only. So after a certain time, they'll serve booze as well. So it's like a bar, but like an arcade bar. So cool. Yo, speaking of bar, this guy's knocked the fuck out. Oh, he's done. He's done. I like how they got that sign sparking like that. That's cool. Oh, they changed the music too. And yeah, you end up getting into fights inside buildings, which you, like no other place in the game that happens. Oh, we missed. <laughs> it's a man claw. Sorry, Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> Please do not look at my man cloth. <laughs> oh, that's comedy. <laughs> it is mad cloth. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess for babies, it's like a long cloth, right? <laughs> weekend was good. Uh, it wasn't long enough. Because last weekend was a long weekend for us. So I had a four day week, two weeks in a row. And this week is a full five day week. So I was feeling it today. Because remember, Toronto, there's no, it's not, uh, I'm in Canada, so there's no long weekend, right? So, um, the second hand of my watch is pointed 30. Right, there's a freaking puzzle here to get a special weapon. Try to remember where to go. Great people here, you can trust everything they say. Gobbledygook, they just kept the same name. So yeah, it was a regular work day for me, unfortunately. But hey, you know what? We're on the rest of the week, so it's, it's all good from here, right? Rambo bartender. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's a relic shop. Hey, come here, buddy. I want to talk to you. Oh, summer break hasn't started for us yet. Up here, uh, summer break starts at the end of June. A girl? Nope. Haven't seen any girls lately. <laughs> And there's definitely not one on the top floor of this building, so don't bother checking. Okay. Oh, shit. Phew, how long do I keep this up? I forgot about these dudes. Oh, shit, we got surrounded. Harvester availed at... The harvesters are dangerous. I remember them. Like, they, they can cause problems here. I can't do all in the middle here. You listen to already summer break, but when did they start school though? When did she go back to school? If you don't mind me asking. For us up here, uh, school year is um, start of September to end of June.
August. Okay, yeah. So it sounds like you guys start start a month early, end a month early. And so summer break for our kids is end of June. Yo. It's already 12. I forgot all about this. Hey, no cut. Get in line. Dude, what do you think I've been doing, man? What the? I guess it's a job lineup. Hold up, what? I see that there. What? Oh, I can ride down the crane. Okay, hold up. I want to go to the other place, I think, if I remember correctly. I'll drop this all the way there. Okay. Once again, guys, forgive me, because once again, I haven't played here in forever. I know there's a really good item somewhere in this place. I think you could, could be wrong. No, it sounds about right, though. If, if your um, family member is is out now, like, it's the end of May, right? So, end of May, start, and, and then you guys start at the beginning of August, right? So, that sounds like that, that, that checks out. That checks out. Okay. Uh-oh. Big boy back attack. Ugh. Right, we got a, a weapon from him. I haven't I gotta check that out. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna get our uh our suplex on the big boy. Yeah, this guy can take a pounding. Got him right in the man cloth. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Hit 100 degrees. Oh, starting to get that time of year. It's starting to get hot. What's the gigas? Is it what? Hold on. It was a gigas something. What is it? Giga's glove. Oh, there we go. It's a, it's a relic. A glove said to belong to a mighty Gigas. Boosts the wearer's physical attack power. It doesn't show it, though. That's what I don't like. And it drops my defense. So, to 146. Where's everyone else at? 116. All right. You know what? Let's give it a try here. Hyper wrist. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Why not? Yo, is she okay? Bro, this place is dangerous. Be careful. And don't go doing anything stupid like trying to jump between the buildings. A hint? I forgot this was over here. This wasn't here before. This was never here in the original. What? This is new. Yeah, see? That's why I'm scared of her. Like, she pulls off level 2 spells, man. Just one-shots us. Damn. That's tough, because I only got a certain amount of Phoenix Downs here, so I gotta be careful. A potion, that's all we get. If this is real, I totally forget. Like, maybe I really totally forget that this is legit. This, I don't remember this at all. Dude, threw a wrench at me, man. If I can dodge a wrench, I can dodge a ball. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not doing a good job at that, though. What do you got? Eye drops. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. The weapon shop. 
That clock doesn't have a minute hand. Of course, it never points the right time anyway. Clock's hands point at the two. All right. I believe the item I'm looking for is a very powerful claw for my character, if I remember correctly. Ow! Stop it! What I like about uh, the flash set, it also inflicts dark. So if they're weak to darkness, then they can start missing their attacks on me. I think that Giga's Glove has helped me because like we're get we're hitting over 300 right now, which is awesome. I love it. And in you say, clock's hands have stopped. Set the hour hand. Oh, dude, this is where it is. I completely forget what it is. I used to have it memorized. I think it's 6, 40, oh shit, dude, yeah, now, I used to have it memorized, I'm gonna, I, I'm sorry guys, it's been over 20 years, so some things I just won't remember. Okay, okay, okay. All right, there we go. Ah, that's tough, man. I used to have it's crazy because I knew almost everything in and out of this game, I played it so much. So, uh-oh, we gotta be careful here. We're just all going after her, man. So, Todoroki, are you guys doing anything for the summertime? Are you gonna be getting away anywhere? Are you gonna be... staying home, local? Oh, it's like that. Ha! You might be invisible, but I can still see with my flash. How about actually, Stephanie, I think you're getting ready to go on a large vacation as well with um, Pandy, are you not? If I remember correctly, we chatted about that, right? Chainsaw! That's, oh my god, that is Edgar's best fucking weapon, and we already have it. That's why that was important. That, I for, I thought of something for, for Sabbath. No way, we got the best fucking thing for our boy. Let's go. I forgot. That's where you get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. We're already, oh, let's use our new toy, shall we? Is that a Wookiee emoji? Yo, that looks so good. Yeah, the chainsaw just is, is crazy cool. Crazy good. That was so fun. I'm going to do it again. Ah, pardon me. So good. In the planning stage for the trip to Aquarium in Georgia. Nice. When are you going to be doing that? Uh, when are you be heading to there? Uh oh. She's going to be able to get off some. Oh no. If she does a fire two on all of us. Oh, that could be bad.
<laughs> nice. You'll love to see it. It is Chewie? Is it Chewy? Okay, I thought so. I thought that was a, a Wookiee there. That's great. <laughs> you always have the coolest little emojis. <sighs> wow, this guy is not going... Ow! Ow! That hurt, bro. Shit. Oh, uh, Lord Rising Phoenix. That used to be called Mantra. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm thinking about Fire Dance. And go. Oh, no, no. That's yeah. That's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about Mantra. Okay. 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 There we go. Wait, I'm still going up. What am I? What am I doing here? Let's try out our new thing, shall we? This looks even... Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Ha! Huh? I know, like, some of you have never seen the original Super Nintendo version. It, it I mean, it still kind of looks like pixely and 16-bit to you, but... Coming from... The way it was, like, oh gosh. Ah. We go and start. That's what it was like over there. Oh, what was it like over there? Ah, well, we had the shutdown. I got laid off from work in March of 2020. Wait, was it 2020? Yeah, March 2020. Because everything, all the shit went down around November, December, January of 2019, 2020, right? Shit, I better actually fight here. <laughs> So, I got laid off in March of 2020. And, I mean, we had the same situation as a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people trying to hoard toilet paper. Right? The whole toilet paper thing. And um, just a lot of staying in, 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 at home and going outside as well. We had two young kids, right? Reese was in kindergarten. He was in kindergarten grade one. I can't remember. And Rhiannon was... I think he was grade one, because Rhiannon would have been preschool. So I was able to kind of do, uh, kind of like uh, teach from home school stuff with the kids, which I really liked. I mean, I'm into phones and technology. That's what I am right now. I'm in IT, in the IT sector and voice over IP phone for uh, project management and all that stuff, right? But I, my real background is working with kids and youth and outdoor education and stuff like that. It just didn't pay the bills. So I had to move something that would allow me to pay the bills, right? And there's something so fundamentally wrong about that where uh, with any type of teachers and people in education, man, like, anyway, I'll, that's a whole other thing to go down. But, uh, oh, an ether, that's it? Oh, oh the ethers are good. I shouldn't complain. The door's rusted shut. I need rust, a uh, rust aid. I need rust aid. Oh, shit. Where do we get rust aid from? Shit, I got oh man. Um we because I, I we had lucked out because I was given a work vehicle, and even though I was laid off from work, my job let me keep the work vehicle and then let me keep my work phone. So I was able to utilize that stuff, and so I our personal car that we owned outright. We had it fully paid off, so we were able to sell that. And um, that money helped us get through while I was also on EI at the time, as everyone else was. So that made things less stressful for us, you know? Okay, so we gotta get Rusties, or Rust Aid. I figured we could get Rust Aid. But I remember well, that's what we need. So I would say it was pretty similar, right? I mean, we were just sitting around waiting for them to get vaccines and, and all that stuff. And it was one hell of an experience, I'll tell, I'll tell you what. Like, I never went through that growing up, so for my kids to kind of go through that, I think it's actually a bit of a good thing, though, because... Well, it wasn't a good thing. Let me get that straight. COVID was not a good thing. But the fact that my kids were so young when it happened, that was the good thing that they were that young. 
because they're not it's that experience isn't really going to find them that much there's a lot of people who miss their grad they're miss their grad they miss so many important parts of their growing up um super important uh sporting events you know that they missed out on like it was crazy So, yeah, that's how it kind of was here. What about yourself, Tororiki? How did you guys get through it? Ooh, a barrier ring. That uh, is uh, for protect. So who has the worst uh, defense? I think it's going to be Elizabeth. 142 defense? No, it's Edgar. Oh, it's Locke. Or Christian, sorry. Wait. Hold on. Protective ward cast shell. Oh, that's for shell. It's not for physical. Okay, got it. How's it going, Tenzin? Ever done something I deeply regret? And how do you cope with it? Yes. Absolutely, I do. How do I cope with it? I cope with it knowing that, A, I will never put myself in the situation to do what happened ever again. Um, and I cope with it by knowing that I made every effort a thousand percent to make amends for the people I hurt. That's how I cope with the situation. Um, and I, I am actually pretty open to a lot of stuff. I'm not really going to share what, what happened there. On that one. Which is rare. I'm usually pretty open with you guys, but yeah. I will say that I, I had to work my ass off. Um, I made some... I hurt a bunch of people. A lot. With some choices that I thought were going to be innocent. Ooh, Dragoon Boots! Nice! I thought they were going to be innocent. And, uh, it turned out it didn't work out that way. So interesting question, Tenzin. Why do you ask? Were you just curious, or are you in a situation like that right now? Or and you don't have to answer if you don't want to. The year is so hard to find. Totally yeah, right. The the TP scandal, TP tragedies were happening everywhere. We were lucky, though. We had a friend who worked at Costco. So, every once, not every time, but we basically were able to get that person, like, we would give them money, and at the end of the shift, they would buy us a thing of toilet paper, and we didn't take advantage of it. We were never those people, where we were like, we got a we got hookup on the inside, give us all, this, all the shit. It's like, no, we just need one, right? That's gonna give us, like, 24 rolls. That'll last us. We're not gonna bug you until whenever. Then you have these fucking motherfuckers who would fucking scalp that shit. Can you, like, I don't know if that happened where you were. There are people in the shortage, and, and I know this is how, sh like, when civilization goes down, this is what'll happen. People will buy the shit and then sell it out at outrageous prices. And man, there's a bunch of people here. They got identified and fucking shamed. Like, people lost their jobs over that shit. The people who are still employed, that is. Wait, hold up. Before we do that. Scalpers have small penises. This is true, Tenzin. Yes, they do. A brigand's glove. What does that do? Leather glove designed to aid in banditry. Oh, that changes uh, steel to mug. Cool, cool, cool. You regret many things, you turn many people. Yeah, I think it's part of the human condition, and we try... It's part of growing up and maturing as well. I mean, people, adults can still do the most egregious things, and there's people who are in their 50s and 60s that are still in maturity level in their teens. You know? And that just comes down to a lot of reasons why they haven't maturely grown. And like, I'm still, there's a lot of growth I have yet to do in my life. There's no doubt about that. And I think part of that, part of maturity is knowing that. 
right? Being self-aware, knowing where your weaknesses lie, where your shortcomings are, right? So you can at least work on them, or if you're not going to work on them, at least stay away from things that make them a detriment, right? If you're, if you're self-aware, right? What was that thing in the Matrix, that Latin word, when Neo walks in to see the one, and he, she's like, turn around, what is that? That means know, your, know thyself, right? I forget what the term is in Latin, but, yeah. What regret you have, you should have gotten a baby out of her home. You young thought you'd get a rest for the baby out of her home. Really taking her out of the home. Oh, it was a child protection thing, Elizabeth. That's the tough scenario. That's a tough scenario. Yeah, that's that's a tough situation to be in. Like, do you take the kid out of the home because it's a safety thing? But what if you're wrong and that could cause problems and people might think that you're trying to steal the kid? And oh man, that's. Oh. My watch second hand's pointed at the four. Yeah, we don't care about that no more. We got the chainsaw, brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm so freaking scared right now. There we go. I love this move. It gets all of them. Oh, it only got two of them? Oh, my bad. That's why we got chainsaw. Left a tweet baby alone in a shoe. Oh, God. That's re that's terrifying. That's scary. Why are we missing so much here, man? Hold on. You're going down, buddy. I really hope we don't have to do that again either, Toroki. Like, that was tough. That just changed our... I really did change the way of life. You know, in, in some ways. And, and while we are trying to get back to that, there's just some things that don't change. It also impacts people in certain ways, right? But those of us who live through it, it gives a different vibe, I guess, if that means anything at all. Um, a different lens in which we look at life. Harvester? Let me harvest your soul. Oh, to change your diaper. If she had never been changed, her rash would have been through the roof. The diaper rash would have been insane. Like, there would be times where... Reese or Rhiannon, like, we'd be in the car, right? And they would, you know, do their thing. And it was a long drive. And when we got to where we were going, we would change them right away. And their little, their poor skin was starting to get a little bit red. Just from the irritation of it, right? So, oh, I can only imagine, like. Like, I actually remember one of the worst things I felt horrible as a parent. We went swimming, right? And, of course... Um, Reese was still a, a, a toddler, baby, right? Almost a toddler, but it's still baby with, and he had like his uh, water diaper on. And so, you know, we got out of the pool, we shower him off, but we were expecting to go home right away. And so it was just a shower. It wasn't any soap or anything, right? Well, turns out something happened. We had to go to the store or something like that. And it took us about an hour and a half till we finally got home. And he had a legit, like, this big on his the back of his thigh it, it was a red welt it, it felt it felt thick it wasn't a soft baby skin and it was a red like chlorine burning thing i almost died we got cream on that so fast healed it right up within like the like the next day but oh my god he was crying so much and it was a lesson we learned as parents it's one of those things that as new parents you learn the hard way, right? Oh my god, it was just woof. <laughs> Baby power Vaseline, yeah, that that's a good start for sure. Poor kiddo. But I mean, because we learned that, we never made the same with same mistake with Rhiannon. Best your ass. There's no way, like. 
we got her cleaned and showered and Reese forever after. Um, that never happened again. And any kids in our care, too. Like, whenever... Ooh, Quake! I forgot he did that. Ugh! Fuck, I forgot he did that. Bye. Clean diving the gloss, yeah. It's tough to know why some uh, parents do that stuff, but there's lots of reasons as well. I mean, some parents, who knows what that mom's background was, what trauma or stress she'd gone to, so that she wasn't able to be a fit parent, you know? So, there's so many experiences people go through in life that can mess them up. Life is, life is savage, man. I mean, what's the saying? There but for fortune, there go I. You know, there's so many things that I want. I'm like, how come I can't be like this, or have this, or look like this? Or have these abilities or skills, and I don't get, I don't have this, and these clothes, and, and this car. And I always check myself, because when I start going down that path, I'm like, dude, there is literally, like... A hundred people in my town right now sleeping outside in the bush under bridge and stuff like that. You know? And there's lots of times it, it could have been me. Could have been me. And God knows, hell, who knows where life will take me? It could be me. As long as if I don't necessarily prep, you know? So I, I will call things as I see them, but I generally try not to judge. Because there but for fortune, there go I. Burning Fist, that's what I was looking for. Kid it got adopted out, that's good. That's good. When it comes to kids and parents, like, I, I kind of have an interesting view because I grew up in the foster care, or foster care system. I was a permanent ward of government. Um, I was in and out of foster care group homes my whole life growing up. Um, you know, and... So I can, I have a very interesting perspective on, on that. All right, shit's about to go down. There's nothing that you really want to get? Fair enough. There's some people that impress me so much with their level of chill. Like, as, as much as I check myself, there's so many things where it's like, oh, I'd love to have that. Like, I'd love to be able to do that with this thing and, and all that and have a, like, a bigger house with, uh, I'd love to have a, a larger house, have a own place, nice yard with, like, a creek or, like, a, a small waterway running through the back with large trees. That's my dream house. I'd love to have a, a, doesn't have to be a huge mansion mansion, but, like, four or five bedrooms just so I can have, like, my own little office space so the kids can have, like, a rec room, have a, a decent sized yard for I can have guests over and... And then the big one is to have like a creek or something going through. Just have some water, you know? What brings you up here on this fine day? Did you need to get through here? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight and I hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? <laughs> Who didn't see that shit coming? Hey, buddy, I got a chainsaw. What's up, real? Good to see you, buddy. How much you get? Not bad. Ba, 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 ba. It's your favorite boss? Yeah? He was all nice about it. I was like, oh, I should probably just let you pass. Fall. Oh. Dude thought it was yam time coming after me like this. Ba, ba, ba. Dude, just having the chainsaw takes everything to a whole other level here. How was your Monday, real? How was your the rest of your weekend, dude? A potion? You think that's gonna help you, dude? Oh, two potions. Three potions. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, he's got protect. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. That that will not help you because I have 
things that break the physical barrier. Let's go. Shouldn't let us pass, man. It's that simple. Oh, well. He made his bed. He's got to lay in it. So, he had people say I would make a good mother. Oh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. It's love yourself and family. See, that's great to focus on, Toy Rookie. And I think you have amazing self kind of control or just skill to be content. Like that's something that's that, having that peace to be able to be content with with that. That's so impressive to me. Yeah, of course. I think we have that already, don't we? Ooh. Now it does drop our defense evasion by ten. Uh, we give this to someone else, maybe. That still hurt. Well, that's not as bad with the evasion, though. But it's all about strength, agility, and stamina. Oh, hold up. He can't wear that. Okay. Let's give it to our boy here. Why not? It only hurts defense by two. I'm good with that. Whee! 16th floor. Oh, hold on. Hello. I don't remember these being here in the original game, but I'm cool with it. Hey, it's our girl. Uh, uh. Stephanie? Stephanie? She's frightened. Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume? Stephanie, is she alright? So, her name is Stephanie? Stephanie, interesting. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I'm Ramu. The Esper, Ramu. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? Well, that doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you. Without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact that you're an Esper? Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. My grandmother told me that humans and Espers used to live here together, side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. Well, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers used to live together in harmony. Well, at least until the War of the Magi. The War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. What do people with power want? More power. After that meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of Espers and their powers, and thus began the hunt. For Gestal, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. As soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. I love the smoke and the lightning around it. That just... that's perfect. It's so good. What's my thought about the alien stuff, Todoroki? We'll chat about that.
Oh, Christian. I, so the smoke and lightning part, that wasn't part of the Super Nintendo. They've added that as part of the Pixel Remaster, and oh my god, is it so good. Good to see you, by the way. Welcome to the stream, brother. Those who were captured are still held in the Empire's Magitech Research Facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped the same fate, and now I'm here with you. She seems to have calmed down a little. I called Stephanie here to me when I sensed that she'd lost control. She responded to that call. So, Stephanie's an Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. Well, what can we do to help her? Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gestal's Magitech research facility may be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're, you're, sh you're sure we'll find them? The Magitech Research Facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Gestal's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's powers by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magisite can our strength be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magisite so I can lend you my strength. Magisite? Magisite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magisite is all that's left behind. But... These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. That's brave. You're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself to Magisite. He gave up his life to help us. Hmm. Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction... The skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second war of the Magi. Uh, Ramu. Imparted power. Kieran. Kate Sith. Kate Sith originally was not what would they what did they call this Magisite? It wasn't Kate Sith. Kate Sith wasn't in Final Fantasy until Final Fantasy VII. Oh, what was it called? Siren. Okay, so they kept the same names except for Kate Sith. Stephanie, wait for us. We'll be back for you. So, time to go right to the heart of the Empire, which we're going to get started on as soon as I refill my drink. Before I do that, though, I want to chat real quick. I want to catch up on chat. A couple of questions here. 
for a super detailing, this is pretty deep. Yes, Christian, the this is why Final Fantasy VI is considered uh, by many, not everybody, but by many, one of the god tier RPGs of all time. Um, when we're looking at RPGs in general, this is able to stay stay up there with with the best of them. When it comes to Final Fantasies, it is heavily debated this is the number one, right? You're going to see a lot of Final Fantasy VII's, uh, but Final Fantasy VI is basically right there with it. Uh, and there's probably a couple Final Fantasy X's as well in there. I don't know... Uh, Final Fantasy XVI is too new, I think. But that's not fair because people said Final Fantasy, VI, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was fucking mind-blasting. So, I don't know. But the story is... And the way they're able to tell it with this type of visuals is just... It hits. And it, that's why... Add, that, add to that, the music is just... Uh, they just weave such a great tale here. And, and, and when you compare this to Final Fantasy IV, which is still my favorite, it's still my number one, barely to this, um, there's just the, there's additional tweaks in, that, in the animation, the, the sprite movement. Um, sprites are larger. I think, Stephanie, you had mentioned that you do like the fact that the, the sprites are larger, right? The, all the other Final Fantasy games, they're one square by one square, right? Now it's two by two, right? So, yeah. Now, Tori Roke, you asked me, what is my thought about the alien stuff? Now, what do you mean by alien stuff? Uh, is it in the game? Like, do you, are you referring, like, the game? Or is there something going on in real life right now, like, that I'm missing? Please, fill me in. What did you mean? Because I like to ask that question before we go on break. Because uh, what we can do is equip these espers now. Hold on. Uh, is it abilities? Espers, there we go. So. It should tell me what I learned from him, though. Hmm. Yeah, you like to be your characters. Yes, yes. So, I should be able to see... There we go. Okay. So, here's how the, the system works in Final Fantasy VI, friends. So, we have to equip espers. And as we equip espers in battle, not only do we get experience and, and money, then we also get... Uh, I forget what they're called. Think of it as a, a, a ability points from Final Fantasy V. But it's a different name here. I like the name better here. And so if we get uh, three uh, special points, I think it's like magic points or something, then it says three times ten, right? And so that's how fast we're able to learn these spells, right? At, at certain rates. So, there we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, abilities. Espers, magic required. So, confuse imp float. Kieran, ah, this is, I know, okay. So, here we go. I want to give this to, let's see. Let's give Siren to our boy here. She already has him done. Let's just get the rest done. Alien stuff in real life? I'm not big into the alien thing personally. I mean, I honestly think there is life out there. There's the, the universe is too big for um, other beings, whether they're human-like or otherwise, to exist. There's just... They're, 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 it's just... The, there's too... The universe is too big. There's no way. In my opinion. Um... How much do I like credence like they've already been here and uh you know whole area fifty one and, and all that? I don't you know what? That time's gonna happen when it happens. I don't know if it's gonna be in our lifetime or not, to be honest. Oh hi. Everyone's here? I was just thinking. Let's talk on the way back down. So the Empire has been draining magic from Espers. <laughs> Here's Gao jumping around. <laughs> I love it. Elizabeth, was all of that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. But I've heard rumors to that effect that it's true.
I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. Oh, we'd best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. That would indeed be wise. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out. But alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Christian. But I advise going in greater numbers. We're going to stick with our team, guys. I feel bad. Like, later on in the game, we do level Cyan up. So we're keeping the team together. Your mom's been close to Area 51. That's cool. Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry. We'll be fine. If we need to change party members. I guess we'll have to head back to Narsh. See you guys. <laughs> Poor Cyan and Gal. They had to walk all the way here just to go back. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire's on the southern continent. But they closed all the harbors, and no ships are permitted to leave port. The town of Jadur to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. Where there's a gill, there's a way. Yeah? Why are you coming with me? Uh, well, there's a rumor about a legendary treasure hidden in Imperial territory and all. I thought I might have a look around. Yeah, we know why he wants that treasure little wink there. Hey, it's a ghosty! It seems you have some magicite. Want to learn more about espers? Now we're good, bro. We got this. Okay. Uh, Todoroki, what do you think about the whole uh, late alien thing? In fact, I'll throw it out to chat. What are you guys' thoughts on life outside of our, our little blue planet? Like I said, I think there's other stuff out there. I don't know where we're going to find them or interact with them, but there's got to be something out there. It can't all just be dead universe. We can't be the only speck in this gigantic, enormous, unfathomable, uncomprehensible universe. We can't be. So, my friends, I'm going to go refill my drink. Feel free to refill anything uh, you want to get refilled. Oh, Angelina, we're just putting it. We're just doing a drink refill right now. We'll be back in about a minute or two, okay? So hang tight. And we're going to go and try and find a way into the Empire after this. So um, I appreciate you. We'll see you on the other side in a moment or two. See ya. Alrighty, my friends. Thank you so much for your patience. Hopefully you had a chance to refill any drinks or snacks you guys had going on. Thank you, Scholar. I saw you pop in right at the end there before we went on break. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't something you said, I promise you. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Hope you had a great weekend and a great Monday. Get all my windows back up here. He says he'll leave all the overview music on for you while we went uh, on there. All right. I'm doing all right, thank you. Uh, for us up here in Canada, there wasn't a long weekend. I know U.S. Uh, people have Memorial Day long weekend. So I'm just glad the workday's over. The rest of the week is just going to get better and better. Thank you for asking. Are you Canada as well? Right on. I'm on West Coast. We're we're streaming out of Vancouver, Canada. Let's do a little uh, tent here right now. Uh, yeah, might as well. Let's do it. No way you're up in Kamloops. Right on. Good stuff. Um, some of it's it's actually really cool. One of my uh, co-op partners I stream with every once in a while. He's uh, here in Vancouver, in the Vancouver area, while well, he's moving to the island. And then some of uh, the people in chat here are from various areas in in the in British Columbia, which which is fantastic. How's the uh, if you don't mind me asking, Scholar? How's the uh, fire danger uh, up there? Any concerns yet? I know there's a big fire concern up uh, in the Fort Saint John area, which is getting pretty bad. Now yeah, we got magic. We don't have it yet, but it's coming. Oh, I fucked up. Ah, no. It's all good. Here, it's all right. Yeah, up north is uh, looking uh, pretty scary right now. I think they avoided the worst part, though. It's gonna the wind kind of blew the fire away, which is good. Ba -ba. So, let's go. Just so you're aware, this is our third episode of, of playing this. I haven't played Final Fantasy VI in over 20 years. 
So it's like coming back to a, a very good book that I just haven't had a chance to enjoy in a very long time. So it's very nostalgic, and we're playing the Pixel Remastered version. So seeing all of the little tweaks and um, adjustments to the animation and visuals, there are visual improvements that they've done, and just the music uh, remasters as well that was overseen by Nobu Uematsu himself is just, it's just, I've been loving it. I'm just giddy. Final Encyclopedia, if you ever need help, appreciate it, man. There's a couple things that um, I knew this game in and out because I played it for years. Like, I I actually got the actual Famicom disc thinking it was a real, like, Final Fantasy VI because I bought Final Fantasy III back in the day. So I saw someone had Final Fantasy VI in, like, the buy and sell. So I made my mom buy it for me. And it was just Final Fantasy III in Japanese. So despite the guy, I couldn't read a lick of Japanese. So I tested everything. I copied it down so I knew what everything was. I beat the fucking game. Just to say fuck you to that guy. <laughs> but, because it's been over 20 years, there are things that I've found that I've forgotten. Like what party members I usually would go with, and things like that. But it's all good. I'm just enjoying it. You know? Enjoying it. When was the last time you played 3, if you don't mind me asking? Ba -ba -ba. Why I'm so upset, bro? Maria? B me? Well, sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Still, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we're really in trouble this time. Elizabeth looks like Maria? <laughs> She's like, yeah, maybe I do. It's one of your first streams about two months ago? Fantastic. Did you just. Start doing streaming? Or have you been doing it for a while now? That man must have dropped this. That man is the director of the troupe that performs at the Opera House. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Sure, why don't we just read it? Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to kidnap you, the wandering gambler. <laughs> it's like, you... I've decided we're getting married, so I'm going to come grab you. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Made affiliate a week ago. Congrats on that, man. Way to go. That's awesome to hear. Congratulations. Do you typically stick to streaming um, just like JRPGs or do you just a variety stream? What do, you en what do you enjoy? Who's this wandering? What's his face? Reborn on a farm, son? gambling vagabond who finds freedom from society's narrow views of morality aboard his airship, the Blackjack. The music update just gives more body to Setzer's theme here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Mainly, you did 5x6, uh, Secret of Mana, and some Chrono Trigger. Nice. I did. I had uh, Crow Trigger done a while back. It was definitely. Uh, that's also one of those god tier RPGs that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, Dragon Quest and Sea of Stars sounds awesome. Try and boy to draw again, so you finish the drawing. I think that'd be awesome, Elizabeth. All right. Well, because you just uh, joined us, and you happen to be a Final Fantasy VI scholar. I'm gonna add you to the game here, Rise. Or would you prefer Scholar instead that we name our boy Setzer here after you, sir? Would you prefer that we name him Scholar or Arise? Let me know, sir. You've come in at the perfect time. Scholar it is! Although Setzer technically is a Scholar, but fuck it, let's go. <laughs> I'm here for it. There we go. Oh, it's your favorite character. Let's go. That's awesome. I was able to do that for another one of our, our viewers. I'm not sure if um, uh, if our friend is in here. Um, but <laughs> oh, that got us to follow. All right, let's go. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, man. I wasn't trying to earn it, but that's all good. Well, that would be Scholar, the owner of the world's only airship. 
If we had that airship, we'd have our way into the Empire. Let's uh, set up a meeting with this scholar, shall we? <laughs> this is awesome. Right on, man. Alright, I think we... There's no change in weapons since we were here last. As far as I'm aware. But I think I want more high potions just in case. Let's top up the items a little bit real quick. So we'll go four. There we go. And... Ah, that's one more there. Man, my chair, I hate it. <laughs> it sucks, my chair's broken, so it goes down slowly over time. All right, let's go out of here, get out of here, because we know what we're about to, what to do. So you understand that the vaccine is for us. Oh, it's all good, man. Yeah. I mean, for me, I, I remember the story. So just as long as there's no spoilers for other people who haven't seen it in, in chat, that's, that's uh, all good. Bop, 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 bop. Yo, what's up, Real? So, Scholar Real is, is one of the guys that we we named Edgar after, Lewis, right? So that's that's the cool part there. I love being able to like just throw people uh, their name into the game a little bit. It just adds fun to it for me. Whoa, almost <laughs> slipped my drink spill everywhere. <laughs> Ba, ba, ba. Now we haven't really gained too much magic yet. I think, you know what, I'm just going to do a couple more quick uh, battles here real quick. See if I can get a spell or two. Let's actually have a look at our... Yeah, I want him to have at least fire before we go in here. Especially consider what's going to be coming, uh, what's going on. Yeah, see we almost have this going here, so... I like how the green it lights up, so I know it, it tells us who uh, who these guys have. Yeah, I just want these guys to learn uh, these spells. We're gonna do a small little grind here, real quick, guys. A couple battles here, and then we'll get into what's uh, coming up. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So, scholar, if I could ask. What was your experience and or thoughts? What was your experience with Final Fantasy V? There's many people who absolutely adore that game due to the job system. What did you think of Final Fantasy V? In your opinion. I know Lewis absolutely, like, real loves Final Fantasy V. We wrapped that up. We've been making our way slowly through the Pixel Remaster. There we go, we got a couple of spells here. Just walking around, looking for fights. Monday night's alright for fighting? Nah, that doesn't, that doesn't hit as well. Actually, now we use magic too! Haha! <laughs> ba da ba ba. Nice. Perfect. Love to see it. Uh, almost got that fire. That's all that's what we want there. She's got cure. Um, we are doing okay. Still, we're probably not going to get that uh, Thundara here. Or Bolt 2, as it was called in the OG. And we almost got... Well, we're not getting Kira here either, but we're going to get regen. So that's fine. Okay, a couple more battles, then we'll get on with it here. Valise is your best known. Okay. Fair enough. In, I'm just asking in regards to your experience. Yeah, so you play it once. Don't remember that much. You know you didn't have anything against four or five. Gotcha. For me, Final Fantasy IV is my favorite, which is very closely followed by this one. 
I think the only reason why four is is where it is is because I did it was my very first entry into Fall Fantasy. So we got fire, we got cure. Okay, I think that's good. That's good enough for now. So let's save it up. Let's get in there. The reason why I asked about Final Fantasy V is because I it's the, my least favorite in the whole series. Ah, it's you again. We read that letter. So, Scholar is coming to snatch Maria away. I probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. Perfect. When he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no! You'll ruin the performance! I'll lose my job! Yeah, but if you don't do anything... You see my conundrum? I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted! He's like, oh. Of course the episode would be a drama queen. <laughs> I say let him take her. What? We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, then he'll take us right to his ship, and if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it. <laughs> Are you mad? If anything should happen to Maria... That's why we use the decoy. We can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again? You said that Elizabeth looks like Maria. Now, just a minute. She can be our Maria. We'll let Scholar kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Brilliant! <laughs> Hold on there. I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Don't laugh at her, dude. She's <laughs> that's the spirit. Oh, <laughs> I got my own little surprise plan for y'all, just like Scholar. To be tons of fun. Almost tried to give him a pirate accent there. Yeet. Better get to work. We gotta make a star out of you, Elizabeth. Oh, isn't anyone gonna read it? <laughs> oh, Ultros. Oh, Ultros. Okay. The band looks so much clearer in the Pixel Remaster. It looks so clear. And compared to the Super Famicom and a Super NES version. Same with the audience. Wow. They made this so crisp. Crispy Bill Bixby, man. Whoa. I can't wait to hear how they've done the music for this. Okay. I'm going to respond some chat here in a sec, but... Oh, they have the spotlight. That looks so good. The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. Yo, her stage name is a real name? That's... that's mm. Weird. <laughs> oh, what up animation? <sighs> Sorry if I'm just vibing to the music, guys. He got run over. He was attacked. The drama. No way. They actually fucking voice acted this. Oh, my God. They 2.5. 
I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like my childhood just exploded. <laughs> they went and did it. They fucking did it. They... What? My whole like... Okay. So, as a kid, obviously they didn't have voice acting, right? They didn't have voice acting. The Super Nintendo and Super Famicom couldn't handle that, right? So, like, think of, if you ever played NBA Jam, that was the quality of voice acting you would get on that, if you were lucky. So you would imagine, so you read the text in your mind, and you could hear the, the sound. Da, 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 da. So it... it, it, it made it sound like the, the character was singing, but it obviously wasn't singing, it was just the oh, oh, right? And in your mind, you kind of sang it yourself. <laughs> so, excuse my surprise, not only did they fucking move the stage in a 2.5D style, they got voice acting for this, and I don't know what to do with myself right now. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's bring it back here. Let's, we got some work to do here. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. I gotta go check on things in the dressing room. Oh, I hope this works. Go on, give her some encouragement. Huh? Why is everyone singing? <laughs> oh, that's the best response from Sabin. <laughs> it's... I do feel it's a missed opportunity. Right, we can't go up here. Can't let you up here, it's too dangerous. Oh no, I forget about the switches. Shit, I have to look that up. I totally forget what, what order to do the switches. Oh, embrace it? Yeah, absolutely. All right, here's our girl. <laughs> Why are you flushing there, bro? Have you always been that pretty? Christian, why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like. Am I just a replacement for her? Whew! The hard questions! Like, the, the updated translation of this is just... Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Great question, too. It's like, it, it, oh, wow. Whew. That ribbon looks nice on you. Didn't answer the question, bro. All right, I have to go on stage soon. This next scene's an important one. Maria starts to worry that something's happened to Draco and pours her feelings into song. Shouldn't you check the score one last time? My ego is telling me, fuck it, you got this. It's been over 20 years. I I don't want to ruin it for y'all, but I also feel like I can do it, but I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to check it. But, like, there's a side of me that's like, nah, you, can, you have it memorized. Read the score, yeah. Oh, my hero, my beloved, yeah, shall we? Well, actually, it's probably good that I do this because the translation has changed from the Super Nintendo version. Ah. Just to the part. The promises of praying love, yet singing here in my heart. You have the starlight. Okay. So it, they change it. Instead of I'm the darkness, you have the light. So you have starlight. Shine brightly from afar. Hours of despair. After this prayer to you, my evening star. Okay. This final exchange be with him and not you. Yes. We only be quiet. My fear speak. Guide me in you. Let's repay up the flowers. Possible, okay, I remember this. I'm sure to finish 
by the end of the interlude. There isn't much time before the start of scene two. Empresario, scene two, nothing. All right. Because the script has changed, look, maybe this actually is a little bit of a challenge. Well, let's go break a leg, shall we? Dude. The Western armies were defeated, and Maria's castle fell into the hands of the East. Forced to wed the Eastern Prince Rolf, Maria still thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars each night. The 2.5D here is such a cool touch. Wow. What's this? Oh. I didn't know there was a QTE here. This, the, the, this never happened before. Well, that kind of happened. But the whole QTE thing. And they even had the shooting star. Prince Ross is looking for his dance partner. Please, leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. Wow. 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> I apologize for any lack of commentary. I honestly just wanted to be in the moment on that, just because before the the huge cinematics that came through in the PlayStation era, PlayStation Two era of Final Fantasies. The opera scene was heralded as one of the great 
kind of RPG scenes of all time, and today it's still looked at as one of those pioneers in the genre. Right, with the technology, what they had to work with, they still implanted the vision so well. And so, as I said before, as a kid, in my mind, I had to sing it because the Super Nintendo couldn't have voice acting. And even with that, it was still an amazing scene. So now, as I said, my childhood has exploded here. Just having it with voice acting, like even, I'll be fair, I like Draco's voice actor better. The singing was a bit better for Draco. Um, but it still hit a part of me. I'm like, oh my God, this is what I imagined when I was in middle school playing this for the millionth time. Oh. You are wonderful, Elizabeth. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Alright, let me catch up on chat here. <laughs> Whew. Alright. You can see the chills? Absolutely. I feel like when there was Rocky or WrestleMania, it's like doing the... Yeah. The detail of the castle was amazing, yeah. Glad to have you back, uh... Angelina, it's actually, Angelina, you came back before we got in here, right? Pardon me. You sound a choir, so you're no singer? <laughs> I, I used to sing as well when I was younger. You talk too much? Well, you know what, though? <sighs> if people want, the way I look at it, Scholar, is if people want to see just a straight playthrough of games, YouTube has millions of those videos. You can find awesome playthroughs. Right? People are here. One thing that I do is I share the joy of games every two nights. That's what we do. We share the joy of games. And people are here to, sh to have that interaction, in my opinion. Right? If they want to go see a playthrough, they can do that on YouTube. That's why I sh I'm here to share, man. I owe you guys one, so I'm going to jam up your opera. Ultras. Uh oh. Better tell the empresario. Here we go. Oh, I'm not awesome. I'm only as awesome as the people I get a chance to interact with in chat, my friends. So I appreciate that, though. Oh, wow, the volume, like, kicked up as we go up top here. Nice. Da, 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 da. What? Here he goes. The Western Survivors attack! Impossible! Attack! High drama! Oh, I like how they updated the struggle with that. In the original game, they just went bop, bop, bop. Now they're like struggling a little bit. That's cool. Wait! Oh. <gasps> what is this? Maria. <laughs> Oh, they even changed the sprite animation. That wasn't... Oh, wow. Insolent Rome, name of the Western Hall. You would address my queen to be Maria. Oh, this is great. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Hold that note. Oh man, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> but how is he planning to dispute, disrupt the opera? With that? I, I love how he brings out the four ton weight straight out of Acme and fucking Looney Tunes. Like, where's Roadrunner? It's gonna get splatted with that shit. <laughs> wow, well, let's see if Maria can shrug this off. Ugh, this is heavier than I thought. It's gonna take me five minutes to push this thing off. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da. We have a second to lose. Talk to the stage hand in the room up to the right. He'll help you get up there. Leave it to us. Hear that a little bit. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. The impresario sent you. You need to get up to the catwalks? 
Lower the switch on the far right, but don't touch any of the others. You got it, buddy. I forget... Wait, what? How do I get up there? Oh, I have to go all the way around the other side, I think. Ba, ba, ba. That's why sprint shoes were so important back in the day. Yeah. Some of the memory kicks in here. I'm not gonna... I can beat these guys pretty fast. Dude, I should just use Chainsaw. Now I know I can one-shot those guys. We'll Chainsaw that dude. Nice. There we go. Oh, that's right. We're still learning magic. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, that's scary. Sucks because we don't have Elizabeth here for our healing. Now I think I will use that. Whew. Anyone alive? Not for long. <laughs> nice! That's our first time he used the instant death one. That's great. Okay, we have three and a half minutes here, guys. Shit, I don't know if we're gonna make it, actually. No, Elizabeth, you were in the choir, you were on TV for Babies and Ace. What? You were, Elizabeth? That's so cool. I didn't know that. You know, the first, second place. Fill in for a girl who lost her voice. Aw. Nice, got regen. Nice. Oh, I should have gone around the long way. What am I thinking? That's all right, we got this. Thank God we have um, Rising Phoenix here. That's awesome, Beast Stream. I love that. <laughs> no, it's all good. No, Elizabeth, I never knew that about you. That's so cool. Okay, we're under, two, uh, under three minutes now. Oh, no! I forgot they could do that shit. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. One shot kill, please. Oh, no. Okay. Actually, no. Rising faces just take too long. Okay, two and a half minutes, guys. We got at least two more enemies to fight, I think. If I can get by him, though. I'm not... I'm not gonna... He's the last one. Fuck it. Just make sure they can't do that shit again. We got this. Woo! Because I haven't played in so long, like, my ability to confirm, like, in my mind, like, how much time I got, it's just gone. Absolutely gone. Please die. Fuck. Oh, no. He's gonna... Oh. Nice. We got Thundara. Let's go. Okay, before we do anything here... Probably should use my high potions. There we go. Ah, screw it. We have the ability to. Ah, uh, Scholar, is your Pixel Remaster on the Switch, PC, or uh, PlayStation? Huh? Oh, rats. Yeah, that's what we did. We fought the rats. Uh-oh. PS4? Nice. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Everyone's like, what the fuck? Oh no, this will never do. With those two flattened, there's no one to win the girl. How can the story possibly continue? Fourth wall break. Huge fourth wall break. You and the crowd's like, what?
idea. Neither Draco nor Ralph will win Elizabeth's hand. I, Christian, the world's premier adventurer, will take her as my wife. The crowd's like, oh yeah, let's go. Oh dear, what dreadful acting. Silence, knave. You stand in the presence of octopus royalty. A low-born thief like you can never defeat me. I challenge you to a duel. I've seen enough uh, hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> huh. Well, I might make the most of this. Music! Ultros can be can be hard. This I've he can be tough. A long time of siege, you miss me? Time to get chopped up, buddy. I need some calamari, bro. Nom nom nom. I'm hungry. We got like ooh that dude, that looks so good. Ugh! Uh, tools. Let's try and steal. We're doing alright. I think I killed him. Ha! Towards it again! He didn't even have a shot. I feel like such a sucker. Bye! I still feel like it's weird. I feel like in the original... We got, like... Ma like, bosses don't give us anything in this case. That seems weird to me. I I don't recall that. Ha 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 ha! Hold it right there! Uh oh. My compliments on a most impressive performance. Yeet! Scholar! I'm a man of my word, Impresario. I'm taking Maria. Ah! Unforeseen twists at every turn. This is we think Maria is to become Christian's new bride. She's dragged off by Scholar instead. What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back to see part two. What marketing. Fantastic marketing. And that is perfect. What do you think, Riri? You okay, baby? Accidentally woke up. Oh, baby girl. Mm, I think you can, but you know what you'll need first? I think a little bit of milk will help. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, first, I see to finish up here. I'm going to finish up in just a minute. Okay. Just curl up on the couch, baby, and then I'll get you some milk. We'll tuck you back into bed. This is actually a perfect time for Code Jr., but we have a couple more things to do here first. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Glad you found him. He's bounced around to find good people. I'm still in the street. Hey, I, we're happy to have you, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying. That's, that's the whole point, man. We just share the joy games. Um, we uh, have a, a rotation, different games that we play every two nights. Um, so, absolutely fantastic. If you would like, you're very welcome to actually uh, throw uh, your stream link in the chat if you'd like uh, as well. So, you're welcome to do that. The man is here. Yes. <laughs> All right, now, this is interesting to me because he kidnaps her, he's like, tosses her into the room. Don't worry, I'll give you plenty of attention later. And he locks it. It's like, yo, you want to marry her? You're locking her in? Like, bro, if you got to do that, that's going to be a shitty marriage. You know, just saying. Don't worry about Botrick Scholar. I'm, I, I have to fix that. <laughs> You're fine. I approved it. Oh, what a performance. You're a great fake actress, Elizabeth. Dude, that's a that's kind of a shot though. You're a great fake actress? Just say she did a good job. That's oh ouch. <laughs> like ugh. you're kicking yourself in the teeth, buddy. Enough. <laughs> but the real show starts now. It's time for act two. Where's Scholar? He should be right back. What are you doing in here? You're not Maria, are you? He's like, are you? Scholar, we need your help. We need to get to Vector. 
And your ship is the only... Well, if you're not Maria, we have nothing to talk about. Wait. We heard that your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you're the world's greatest gambler. I'm the king of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be well rewarded. I like how Sabin said nothing. Hmm. Come with me. Then you'll... Don't misunderstand me. I still haven't said I'll help you. Hmm. Business has been awfully slow lately, thanks to the Empire. Well, you're not the only one suffering. The Empire has been toppling towns and villages left and right. They're abusing their Magitech power and trying to take over the world. My kingdom was allied with the Empire until recently. Maybe you want to be a slave to the Empire, but I sure don't. Hmm. We're at least together in hating the Empire, right? So please. You know, I think you may even be cuter than Maria. What? <laughs> She's written the face. Alright. If you, if Elizabeth, becomes my wife, I'll help you. Otherwise... What? Are you crazy? Fine. Ha! Great! It's settled. On one condition. We flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? <laughs> I like it. I accept. Elizabeth, are you serious? If you marry that guy? Ready? Heads. I win. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-headed coin before. That coin? Lewis, don't tell me. I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. But that's part of the game now, isn't it? <laughs> How low can you stoop? I love it. All right, I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire with nothing to lose but my life. I haven't felt so excited in years. My life's a chip in your pile. And he up. I can't believe this clunky old thing can fly. Are you sure it'll stay in the air? Well, when things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. Play your cards, fate plays hers. They'll spot us in the air for miles away if you try to fly the scene into the Empire. You better land a safe distance away. That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ships ready to take off at a moment's notice. The updated... Um, spotlights look really cool. And the fact that they made a cutscene of this, like, Final Fantasy VI was doing cutscenes before cutscenes were a thing. In, uh, like, that became popular, like, the f FMV videos in, in on the PlayStation. Like, man, Vector looks fucking cool, too. It, I believe it did, Scholar, if I remember correctly. But I might not remember correctly. <laughs> Fuck, Vector looks so imposing. That's awesome. Wow. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Alrighty, my friends. As much as I could go on all night, it is a work night. I do have a little one we gotta tuck back in and get some milk. So it is time to call it. So before we do, as we always do, I do like to shout out the awesome people who are in chat with us tonight. So let's just go through here. My bot, unfortunately, isn't working, but I do want to shout out, thanks, Scholar Arise, for hanging out. Appreciate you. 
if uh, you enjoy some of the RPG client you see here, go have a look at his Twitch channel. It was in the chat there earlier. Elizabeth, thanks for being here tonight. It's a pleasure having you, as always. Thanks for hanging out tonight. We also had Real with us tonight. Thanks so much for being with us, Real. It's always a pleasure, my friend. And Angelina as well. Thanks for being with us, Angelina. You're fantastic. We appreciate you. Glad you're able to come back. We had Tenzin in the chat tonight as well. Always good to see a Tenzin. He comes in with drops like a bomb of a question and then fades away. <laughs> Who else we have? Hopefully my chat didn't cut it off because that's a tough part. I gotta talk to Potato Time just about the lot. Todoroki was hanging out with us tonight. Todoroki, thanks for being with us. It was good having you, as always. Love it when you get a chance to pop in. Had a good little chat about our COVID experiences too tonight. Was there anyone else I missed at the beginning? Just checking it. I believe, if I haven't, thank you again, Stephanie, for being with us tonight. Good to have you with us. That's where my chat cuts off. If any of you were here in the beginning, I missed you. I sincerely apologize. But I also want to thank all of our lurkers tonight across all of our platforms on Twitch, Kick, DLive, Rumble, and YouTube. Um, I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you're with us. And uh, I hope we'll continue to have you um, every two nights as we do here on the channel. I am going to have a great sleep tonight remembering that opera scene. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh, man. All right. With that being said, my friends, stay healthy, stay safe. Go give someone a high five, and we'll see you all on the next one. I appreciate you.